Chris, I'm the Rusty Caveman. This is our next project that we're working on. Uh, dad has had that dryer, mom and dad has had that dryer for probably, well, at least 15 years, probably longer. Anyway, um, doesn't dry very well. Dad's been doing quarter loads in it. And uh, because of that, me and the wife have been going to the um, laundromat to do our laundry at about 20 bucks a shot. Um, if we go to another one, it's about 25 bucks a shot. So in saying that, in five months, well, no, that's 20 bucks a week. So um, I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of about five, we'll call it six months, just be on the safe side. This will pay for itself. So while they're going on vacation and he can't say no, we're going to put in a new dryer. So hang out and enjoy. I'm going to take the cord off the old one, put it on the new one. I'll have to pause the video and run into um, Bidwell Hardware and pick up a new uh, flexi hose for the bottom. Um, and then putting it back in. I'm doing it all out here because there's not enough room in there. So when I take that thing in, it's basically going to be in the orientation where all I have to do is plug in the uh, cord, screw in the flexi cord, and just slide it in. Theoretically, that's the idea. Well, I can't find any of the uh, any of my uh, razor knives, which I have several. Can't find the carpet carpet knife. So we'll follow the manufacturer's instructions and cut down the side. Using my favorite cheap kitchen knife. Which is sharp. It's going to require a little bit of sharpening because I hit the ground a couple times. It's almost the same exact dryer. This is what happens when you forget to get the eggs for a day or almost a day or two. The nice thing about manufacturers of these dryers and things like that and these cords, these cords are pretty much universal. Now the end can be different. This is the end for a dryer. The end for a stove actually looks a little bit different than that, but it's the same concept. The one in the middle is the ground. The one on each side is a hot. 
So I'm going to stick it through here. Oh, this has got a little gasket. How nice. This did not in any way stay where it was supposed to be. this one. This is a hot. Electrical is also somewhat color coded. The uh, magnetic would be so nice here. screws didn't match so off comes the back and I dropped that one I also had to take the back off to get screws out anyway. And while we're here, maybe I'll explain a few things. This is for example, what I was talking about. You've got gold, gold, silver, black, black, white. Um, in these flat cords, it is uh, already set up that way. You've got hot, neutral, hot, so black, black, and the one in the middle would be white or neutral. Also, while we're in here, looking at the back of the drawers, which are exceptionally easy. This right here goes down, comes out right there. That is your vent. If you ever had to clean this thing, then that is what you would clean. And believe it or not, this cover comes off. And you can blow it out. You can clean it up. It comes out. This over here is your intake. And this is your heating element. So you've got your controllers down here. Your uh, sensors, there's another sensor right here. If, uh, if the thing quit running because the heating element was out, those are where you would check. And they're actually easy to find online. So dryers are easy. Over time though, they will get clogged up. If you gotta take the drum out, you know, that, that goes beyond what I consider fixing. Because I that's just a mess, pain in the butt. Getting the belt back lined up, everything else happy. Yeah, it's not worth it. Anyway, so I'll plug you back in and we'll get started putting the hose on. I'll put this cord on and then I'll put the back back on. This new style of screws has a uh, basically an alignment part to it. Tight, tight, and tight. Not so tight that you're going to break it, which is actually really easy to do, and I've done it.
Okay, there's a groove down at the bottom that this thing sits in. And then you can just pull this flap out and then slide it underneath that screw and everything should go together. If it doesn't, you give it a little love kick. Yeah, I'm not going to tighten that one all the way until I get the other side on. Well, now what you might find extremely amazing, especially for me. All the original screws went back in it. For me, that's impressive. On our way to the hardware store to pick up a new piece of flexi hose. This is the beautiful section of, of the road. I had a pretty heavy windstorm last night, so you can see this debris. A little bit everywhere. Here in Appalachian Mountains, one of the most common phrases that's ever said when they're driving by a creek or getting ready to cross a bridge. Looks like the river's up a little bit. Not too much. Also a childhood story. The moment Dad first bought the land, there was a log cabin sitting on it. And then they bought a trailer. And they put this trailer on there. We lived in that trailer for, I don't know, three, four, five years maybe. At one point in time, a big wind came across, knocked the trailer off the uh, foundation blocks. Well, we got to put back on. And then shortly, got the double wide that they live in now and uh, they sold the trailer. Within days, or maybe a week, this trailer right here showed up down here and it was the same make, the same model, and it had a stovepipe coming up through what was the kitchen. We are pretty certain that is Dad's old trailer. Seems like most of the time when I get into this car, the gas needle is at one eighth. I don't know why that happens, but it's like every single time I get in here, it's an eighth. Well, it's hard to see, but welcome to Bidwell Hardware. Now, yeah, try to figure out where it's at. I've been down that aisle a lot. <laughs> we have somebody trying to hide beside me here. Anyway, she showed me where it was. A little bit of a View of the uh, of the uh, second lake. Awesome. What have you been rolling in? Well, let's see what came in the box. How much I gotta salvage off the other thing. Yeah, looks like we're salvaging all the connection stuff off the other one. 
Either that or I may have to go back to the hardware store. Yeah, this came out pretty sure enough though. So this part goes to the wall. That thing was pretty dirty. Take this inside, come back, and we'll start with the dryer. I'll keep this handy here. Looks like it's about the same width as the old one, same depth as the old one. I've already got it dirty. Back in a minute. Okay, it's on. Looks like it works. Yes. I need a broom or something. Okay, let's see how she goes. I guess stick her off. Probably ought to register it, actually truly register it. That's where it falls. Now you just put the cup under there and then we don't have a mess. Right? Yep. I started this once and noticed about halfway through my rambling spiel that uh, the little red light wasn't blinking anymore. So let's try it again. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm the Rusty Caveman. Uh, today we've we've done quite a bit. We've driven up to Chillicothe. 
over to Columbus and back down. We picked up a new dryer from mom and dad. Uh, as you watched, see, saw the video, the dryer is installed. It is working. Uh, it's currently running to burn off the new dryer smell on the heating element. Um, and that's it. We ran into, I uh, ran into Bidwell Hardware, as you saw, a little piece of it on the video there. Um, good people there. I love them to death. Um, one of them was hiding up against the shelf as tight as you possibly could to not be in frame, which is kind of funny. I guess we're just going to go ahead and call it a day. I've got the sun setting behind you through the, uh, through those, uh, cedar trees. And, uh, it's, uh, 5.55. So I'm going to go ahead and take this camera in, plug it into the computer so it pulls down all the clips. And hopefully tonight, probably tomorrow morning, I will get it edited up and get it posted so that you can have a Sunday video. And I would say that that's it. Looking around for the other things that I need to that I need to work on. By the time this video goes out, it won't matter anymore because they will be back. Uh, but mom and dad are down in Florida. And uh, enjoying a trip. One of the things that we made sure that uh, that they had was a um, a Life 360 subscription on their phone, so they can track everything they're doing. And the fact that my dad is speeding almost every trip he makes. <laughs> so it's interesting. 82 years old. You think he'd know where the brake was? Anyway. Or how to use cruise control, which is my favorite thing. Keep me out of those situations. Anyway, the day is done. It's been a good day. Tomorrow, hopefully, will be another good day. And hopefully, I can get some more stuff recorded. Uh, and get that out as a Wednesday video. That would be nice. Um, but we'll see. I'm uh, looking at a... There's a... Um, lilac tree right there that I kind of want to save but I'm about to drag a whole bunch of big branches over top of it so I don't know if I'm going to be able to but we'll see so that's it I'm the Rusty K-Man please if you enjoyed this video please like share it with everybody you know uh, I'm trying to increase my subscriber count I'm trying to increase my watch hours trying to grow my channel uh, I've been at this for I'm starting on my fourth year and um, I think it's time to get a little more serious in, in the actual growth of the channel. I'm still going to be doing the, the bloggy stuff, which is what I enjoy doing the most. Um, I'll add some more stuff in here and there. Once I have a camera-ready kitchen, uh, I'll start doing some cooking videos because I'm actually a pretty good cook. And it would be nice to be able to do that. On screen but anyway days over thank you very much for watching I appreciate every single one of you and uh, hit that like button hit that subscribe button please comment tell me how things are tell me what's going over and your going on in your section of the woods um, here in southern or the foothills of the Appalachian it's uh, it's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good week, except for the massive amount of wind we had last night. Anyway, rambling. Let's get this done. Y'all have a good night. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.